Good morning, my darlings. This is actually the third time that I have tried to start vlogging this morning. Each of the previous attempts, I have launched in with the most boring topic of conversation and then just stopped halfway through and stopped filming. So whatever I start going on about now, it's just gonna stay. This is just, I'm just gonna make the cut. And I was thinking it's one of those really random things when you start a vlog because often you're not with other people. It's like if you were a radio presenter and you are working by yourself. I always used to think, how do they, how do they just keep talking and no one's actually talking back to them? And it's kind of the same when you're vlogging, like unless I'm out doing something and I've got something to show you, when I pick up the camera to start vlogging, I don't pre-think about what I'm gonna say. Like even this, I should probably just cut all of this out anyway. I'm in a very peculiar mood today and I am going to blame the weather. <laughs> British person, when in doubt about what to talk about, talk about the weather. Um, but actually, so today is the first cloudy day or non-sunny day that we've had in a little while. So that means that I'm going to do loads of things in the house that I have been putting off because I can't bear to be inside when it's glorious outside. I want to be gardening, I want to be lying in the sun or working in the sun, so I've put a lot of things off. I need to do a massive tidy up of my dressing room. I've got a bed to change from when Scarlett and Maria stayed here while we are on holiday. Um, what else? Yeah, a couple of little, couple of little odd bits and bobs. Um, so that is the plan of action for today. While I'm doing all of that, um, I think I'm going to... See, now I actually can't remember what I've mentioned in this attempt at starting the vlog and what I mentioned in the previous ones. Oh, never mind, I'm gonna go upstairs and put my hair in my silk sausage. Even though it's dry, I hope that it will work. Last time when I had the complete epic fail, which was when I went down to wilderness, I was in a car for three hours and I presumed that it would be absolutely perfect. After that, my hair was damp and I put product in, so I thought, yep, this is gonna be the perfect curl situation, but it was completely flat. Um, so now I'm gonna attempt it on completely dry hair. One of you um, recommended to do that and then spray it with hairspray when it's in the sausage. In my head, I don't understand how dry hair will hold a curl, um, especially as my hair is, I've got a lot of it, but my hair is very fine. Um, and it's also quite silky because of the shampoo that I'm using at the moment. But anyway, let's give it a try. Okay, most of my tidying and unpacking is now complete. And I have some goodies here, which I've just opened, which I will quickly whiz through with you. Perfect timing for my skin and me delivery because I just finished my last one last night. That is just the most perfect timing. Um, Oops, so I have got this month's daily doser in here and this delivery also contains my moisturizer and my cleanser. So these don't come every month, but this does to ensure that I've always got my, um, my skincare and my active ingredients. So I'll be popping that on later. Also speaking of um, products that work <laughs> really well for the skin, you may recall many a time I have spoken about my current body Oh, LED face mask well they now have one which is purely for the eyes so if like me your main area of well I don't want to say concern but an area that you would like to um, work on is around the eye area then this could be a really interesting product so I might have a little bit of a pamper evening tonight and give that a try what else do we have? Some lovely new makeup launches. So I've got a selection of bronzers here from the new collection from Clarins. Some really different, really lovely different tones here. I feel that that might be a little bit too warm for me. I think this one's probably going to be my shade. They always give a really lovely natural colour. And then this is a really nice one for on holiday. Not sure if you can see, but it's got a little bit of shimmer in there. And then, of course, you can just swirl your brush around the pink section if you want to get a little bit of blush. A new foundation delivery from Shiseido. I've heard really good things about this. It's called the Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation, and it's SPF 30. That does look like a really good color match for me. Uh, oh, an eye cream to go with the current body. <laughs> yes, I'm looking crazy in the reflection. Um, actually, I don't know if you can see, but half of the curls that I have put in are starting to unravel where my hair is 
pretty soft at the moment. I'm using not this exact shampoo, but um, another one from this range from Weller. It's actually their Hydrate collection that I'm using at the moment. My hair, I can't complain, but it is so soft and it just doesn't want to stay in these um, curlers. Uh, so we've got also from Weller, I thought I would get the, the color collection because hopefully I'll be getting my hair, oh my goodness. <laughs> Hopefully getting my hair coloured next week. Their hair oil is one of the best oils I have ever tried. It's really lovely and lightweight. If you've got quite fine hair so you don't want an oil weighing it down, I highly recommend these ones from Wella. Um, oh, guys, <laughs> not with it today. Um, and then I did order a couple of products which I thought might help with my heatless waves. This is the perfect setting lotion spray. So I'll be giving that a go next time I wash my hair. Um, and then just a couple of lovely masks. This one is the Nutri Enrich Goji Berry Deep Nourishing Mask. And then this one is from the Oil, Refle Oil Reflections range, like the hair oil. So I thought that would be a really lovely mask to try out. And then this is a hair mousse. And apparently using a hair mousse when you are using the Dyson Air Wrap really helps the curls to last. So I'll be giving that a try. Uh, we've also had a delivery from Soru, the most beautiful jewellery brand. I'll just pop you on there so that we can open it up with two hands. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. That is the most beautiful ring. Oh my goodness. It looks like the kind of ring that you would get from jewellers, which costs like millions, <laughs> millions. It is so beautiful. I wonder if they actually make it any smaller because unfortunately this is really much too big for me. Um, but because of the design, I wonder if they do make it smaller. So what I'm gonna have to do is put a ring adjuster, but potentially it doesn't, in which case I can, sorry, my dress wants to be the focal, focal point of the camera. Yeah, otherwise I'll just put a ring adjuster on it. I mean, how beautiful, such a statement piece. Number two. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. That one fits better. Still a tiny bit big. Oh, this collection is so beautiful. Can you see it's the most delicate flower with a pearly center? It looks similar. It's the little jewelry pouch that I took with me to Barcelona and I took these earrings with me, which are also from Soru. I, I wore these earrings during Christmas and the ring kind of matches. I would definitely wear them together. That's a really gorgeous combination. And can you see the actual, it'll focus, but the actual band of the ring is so stunning. Gosh, their pieces really are just divine. These look like something that Samantha from Sex and the City would love. <laughs> Giving me those kinds of vibes is essentially the ring, but as a stud earring. I can't even hold them up to my face to show you how it would look right now because my hair looks so ridiculous. Can you see how it's... Do you know what? I am actually just going to have to take this out because it has not worked in the slightest. They obviously look a little bit crazy while I'm not wearing any makeup, but I think they will look absolutely stunning when I am a little bit more made up. And maybe I'll wear these tonight for our lovely dinner. I just suddenly thought Charlie's booked this special dinner tonight. I hope there's not an occasion that I'm forgetting about because it's a really, it's a Michelin star restaurant. And he was like, oh, we're going here for dinner tonight. It's not our anniversary. <laughs> you shouldn't, not that you should need an excuse to go to a lovely restaurant. Okay, first chore of the day done. I have made the bed in the pink room where Scarlett stayed. Um, and I've just shared this on my Instagram stories. So I'll let you guys know as well. I have a new um, special offer with Linen Bundle, my favorites that have got the most beautiful quality bed linen. This is their cream set, which if like me, you looked for ages for some non-white bed linen. So you can see the color difference here between the white cover and the cream bed linen. Because I often find that white just looks it looks very modern, it looks very new, and <laughs> I just, I prefer bed linen to be a little bit softer and more cosy, and I find that their cream colour is absolutely perfect. I've also mentioned a million times, I just think that the quality of their bed sheets is so lovely, um, and we have this exact colour in our bedroom as well. They must have been in the wash a hundred times, and they still are literally as good as new. Um, so my offer this time is Josie home at 45 and that will get you 45% off site-wide and also a free pair of pillows 
when you spend over £115 um, and you can choose non-feather pillows as well which are the softest most comfortable non-feather pillows I have ever tried we have them in the cottage so um, yeah it's an amazing deal and I highly highly recommend checking out Linen Bundle they also very kindly sent me some of their new designs they've got some patterned ones which you can really mix and match so we've got this sweet little bumblebee I chose the ones which are the most countryside-y ones. I think this is a chamomile, do they call it their chamomile flower? Chamomile and bee print. So I have a feeling that the inside of this one is actually this print. And then I thought the bottom sheet would be really lovely in this straw yellow. So they've got some gorgeous new prints as well as the plain sets which you can pick and mix from and they'll also be included in my 45% off discount. Hello again darlings, it's a few hours later, we've had the most relaxing afternoon just watching a film, <laughs> we watched something new on Sky Cinema and I dozed <laughs> in and out of sleep, did have a fairly late night last night but now I've got on my beautiful Serafina dress and we are heading to the Royal Oak. I've just been on their Instagram and I think the food is going to be really amazing. I didn't, as you saw, my hair <laughs> did not do anything in the roller earlier um, so I have just kept it back in a bun and I feel like that is where these earrings come in very very handy if you want to still look glam like you've made an effort um but you really can't be bothered to do your hair then adding a lovely pair of earrings i think it does a great job and on this hand even though it's much too big i am wearing the matching ring it's not going to bother me that much but it just ties in so beautifully so i've got my soru and my serafina two beautiful brands this is my outfit of the evening We've had our amuse bouche and now we have got a, what did he call it, a whole grain? Um, but it wasn't brioche, I think. A, 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 was yeah. that brioche? I don't actually know, we weren't paying attention to it. And then a wild garlic butter, and, and the wild garlic is from, is from a village nearby. Um, the butter is churned two miles away, pork scratching, and we've just been told the story about the where the flour is milled just a couple of miles from us. Yeah. That's gonna be amazing. Oh wow. Ooh, I can't wait to try this. Hello darlings, back home again and I love that it's still light outside. We are approaching the summer solstice which is the longest, longest day of the year and I think the sun sets at 20 past nine. That makes me very happy indeed. The meal was incredible, <laughs> we knew it would be. It's nice because it was obviously a Michelin star restaurant but also felt a little bit more relaxed, like no, none of this kind of smart white tablecloths, that kind of formality that you expect with a Michelin star restaurant but lots of small, very exciting, super tasty um, little plates and most of the ingredients were sourced locally. And what I loved was that every time a dish was placed in front of us, we'd get a story about it as well, not just being told what it was, but also about the farmer who <laughs> milled the flour for the bread and how if he, if there's too much rain, for example, and he can't mill the flour, there's just no bread that week. Um, so everything had a really lovely story behind it. For a Michelin star restaurant as well, I think we only booked it a week ago. Um, so if you are <laughs> in this area, I would definitely recommend a visit to the Royal Oak at Watford. Is that right, Watford? Royal Oak, Watcut, Watcut. Um, so as you can see, I have taken off my makeup in my usual way and now I'm going to be applying my new, new, this month's new daily doser. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, this month I've got my full routine. It says in here my morning routine and my evening routine. So cleanser, moisturizer and SPF in the morning and cleanser, daily doser and moisturizer in the evening. So I've already done my cleanser. So my next step is to use my daily doser also in here. And one thing that I just love about Skin and Me is that there's no excess packaging, there's not a load of plastic. This is made from aluminium, so that's recyclable. Well, they're very conscious of not having any unnecessary plastics. I've said many a time that my daily doser from Skin and Me is probably the one thing within my skincare products, things that I actually put on my face, 
that makes the biggest difference and I recommended it to so many friends and so many of them are fully converted. Um, I do have my special offer again which will give you the first month for £3.50. I'll leave it on the screen here. You need to use the code Josie6 this month to get that offer. Guys, if you, ha if you haven't started using Skin and Me yet, this is your sign. <laughs> this is your sign to start it. No more messing around with loads of different products with active ingredients because with Skin and Me you fill out a very quick consultation online. It takes just a couple of minutes and then your skincare goal, for example mine was to make my pores look smaller, yours might be anti-aging or reducing your blemishes. Your answers, a couple of photos that you take and um, your skincare goal is looked at by a team of experts and then your perfect product is designed just for you so you don't need to spend loads of money or loads of time finding a dermatologist or playing around with loads of different active ingredients from shop-bought products. This literally has the exact formulation that your skin needs so I have got a selection of active ingredients in here that are designed for me and I can see from the percentages here of my daily of my active ingredients that over time I wish I kept my first tube, but over time the percentage of the active ingredients has been gradually increased so that I don't, um, so that I continue to notice benefits. I'm going to apply this while, um, while we chat. So because it's an active ingredient, you don't want it to be, there we go, you just twist it until you hear the click. No air <laughs> can get into here, so it's, what do you call it, encapsulated? It's just like a little very light cream. And I just press that onto my skin. My routine is applying this to cleanse skin um, and then I, I usually give it about 10 minutes before I put anything else on my skin. I'll pop on the um, Skin and Me moisturiser. I also like to put on my Elizabeth Arden ceramide capsules. I find that these work really nicely with the Skin and Me Daily Doser because I would say that you can never <laughs> hydrate your skin too much. Because of the nature of active ingredients, your skin is essentially working really hard while you sleep, resurfacing, regenerating, renewing. So it just adds comfort and ensures that your skin is glowing when you wake up if you also apply a plethora of moisturizing products afterwards. As Hayley Bieber says in all of her skincare videos, you should go to bed with a face that looks like a glazed donut, <laughs> which I think is brilliant. Okay, it's about 10 minutes later now, so I'm going to apply my moisturiser. This is a really light moisturiser and there is absolutely nothing wrong with layering this with your other favourites. Literally arrived in the perfect time because I had just finished my last one. There we go. So for a long time, I believe Skin and Me just made the Daily Doser, which... I mean, this is this is the game-changing product, but I love that now they've got the cleanser and the moisturizer. Again, it just takes the guesswork out. You don't need to think, oh gosh, has that product got ingredients in it, which I'm not gonna go with my routine, because you do have to be a little bit more careful when you are using active ingredients. They do, the reason why you see such a change in your skin is because they're actually doing something. So using the full Skin of Me range, just for me, helps to take the guesswork out and make sure that everything I'm applying to my skin is working really well together. Hopefully, if you guys go back like a year, a year and a half in my videos, you can really see the difference in my skin. I certainly notice it hugely. So now I'll just wait another maybe 10 minutes or so. I like to give all of my products that I apply to my face time to absorb, to sink in, and then I'll pop on one of my ceramide capsules. Um, and then I've got another really lovely, quite thick Elizabeth Arden um, night cream, so I'll apply that later, but my daily doser is what is working it, working the magic and really improving my skin. So yes, I will leave my link and my code in the description box down below. Josie6 will get you your first month for £3.50, which is amazing. Usually, I believe, £24.99. As I've said 10 million times, could not recommend any more highly. I love it. All my friends love it. And I know that you guys are going to love it. So I'm going to complete my evening routine and I will see you guys in the morning.
Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, my darlings. It is a beautiful, very calm Sunday morning and Charlie's still in bed. And yet I just wanted to get straight outside and do a few little gardening chores. So as you'll have just seen, I've done some deadheading this morning, even though lots of these lupins still have beautiful flowers on and you guys know how <laughs> I hate wasting any flowers. I want to make the most of everything. However, with lupins, I think it's quite unattractive when they start to go over. And actually, if you prune them, and if you have any lupins at home, you can prune them literally just underneath the flower. Then that will encourage some new little flowers, like you can see this one here. It will just give them the space and the energy. Well, there's quite a few actually. The more you look, the more you find. Um, give them the energy. Oh look, tiny, 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 tiny one here. Yes, it'll put the energy into um, helping them grow as opposed to the energy going into these going to seed. And with lupins, I don't really think there's a point that's too soon to prune them. Please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but in my experience with this bush, and this was grown from seed last year, OMG, um, I just find as soon as they start to look a little bit unattractive, I snip them. So I'm going to do a few more of the lupin bushes. I've done some of the roses, I've done some cosmos peonies um, and other bits and bobs and I've also realised that I need to put some supports on the roses down there so I'll do that later. But I'm going to carry on just deadheading the lupins in this border. I also need to pick some lavender because I'm going to make a lemon and lavender cake this morning. But yeah, it's a beautiful morning. Sunday morning pruning and enjoying my cup of coffee. Hello again darlings, well finally dressed and makeup and hair done ready for seeing Charlie's family today. I've popped on the same jewellery as last night, I just love these earrings and I've got the ring on the other hand as well. Um, I didn't leave myself enough time to bake the lemon and lavender cake which is a shame, I always forget that a lemon loaf needs 50 minutes in the oven. So I'd need an hour and a half and we're leaving in half an hour. Very silly of me, I just didn't realize where the time was going. Um, so instead, I have emptied my <laughs> deadheads from the bucket. I'm gonna put a couple of inches of water in the bottom here and I'm just gonna fill this with flowers from the garden. And then when we get to Charlie's mum and dad's house, I will arrange everything into a lovely display to have on the table or in posy glasses, whatever Viv has got lying around the house. is off for a very exciting night tonight. Doesn't you look glam? <laughs> you literally remind me of like my childhood <laughs> in the Sorry. 90s with the feather boa. Sorry, like Harry Styles. <laughs> well, you look like you're going to see Harry Styles. <laughs> and for the ultimate 90s experience, Skazwan has got, where do you even buy things like it's this? It's called a blinger. I've actually got this from Amazon. Amazing. Was, I think it was like 14 pounds. It's like really fine. So you clamp them onto your hair? You clamp them on. So I don't know if you can see my hair. Oh my gosh, as modeled by Skazwan. <laughs> I feel like it's the kind of thing that my age group used to get uh, marketed on like Nickelodeon yes, during the advert definitely. breaks and my mum never let me get like the toys. <laughs> but now I'm okay. older. Bling, bling my hair darling. Which side? Um, I mean wherever. I'm actually quite nervous. This is going to be the new, the new trend. I can do this in a handy. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. It's like an ear piercing garnet, that is amazing. 
And so when you get home at like 3 a.m., you're gonna have to individually pick these all I out think of your hair. It, cla it claims on the pack that you can brush them out. Oh. So Okay, let's hopefully. do one more on this side. I've got lots of different colors. Like it came with like a pack of 20 different colors. Amazing. So I'm gonna do some silver ones to add a bit of so cute. depth. <laughs> what do we think? Bring it back for spring summer 2023. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, it goes in your outfit, it doesn't go in my outfit. I like it. So we've just got back home and this probably won't show up on my camera, but I've just shared some stories because the sky is quite literally pink. You can kind of see on the camera, it looks really warm, but it's like pink candy floss in the sky. It's actually magical. <laughs> if my little ponies made skies, can you see that? It's amazing. Someone said that the rain had sand from the Sahara Desert in it, and maybe that's the pink in the atmosphere. But it's magical. It's so Anyway, we're off to bed to watch Silent Witness. <laughs> darlings it is now the next day I have realized that you are going to be watching this video on a Sunday so I thought I would share with you a few of the new things in my wardrobe I've been doing a few more fashion collaborations over on my Instagram lately um, and I always like to show you guys new things in my wardrobe as well and a lot of these are high street pieces so really fantastic price points if you have got any weddings coming up these are some fantastic wedding guest outfits um, but also just really lovely things to wear on a daily basis or for special events throughout summer. So I'm going to get started with a few from Dorothy Perkins and they really blew me away with the styles and designs that they have got at the moment and price point wise and quality combined I think is the best value pieces I have seen in a very long time. So first of all I am in love with this little dress. I love the blue and white floral pattern. I'm not usually a blue lover tend to lean more towards the greens if this did have green instead of the blue i would probably love it even more but there's something very classical very traditional about this blue and white pattern it certainly looks like it could be from a designer that's far more expensive i will show you a little i will show you how it looks full length here and i also want to point out to you the footwear so this is a pair of shoes again from dorothy perkins i'll leave everything linked down below yes very similar in design to my valentino rock studs super comfortable i have worn these for a full day thanks to the chunky block heel and i never really considered dorothy perkins for footwear before river island was normally my go-to when it came to really good quality and very affordable footwear um but after the success of these which i'm so impressed with i will definitely be keeping an eye on dorothy perkins footwear next time i'm browsing their website the second dress from Dorothy Perkins, and this one I used as the main grid image on my Instagram, so you might have already spotted this one. The fabric, again, is such a beautiful pattern. Personally, I would say that this is wedding guest appropriate because it's not a white dress, it's a floral dress, but let me know your thoughts on wedding guest etiquette down below. Personally, for my own wedding, I would be thrilled if someone wore this. It's such a lovely, elegant design. I love the fluted sleeves. I always am a huge fan of a floral pattern. The material clings to the body in all the right places. And what I'm going to do is pop the video clips that I shot with Kat up on the screen here because I feel like they show the dress off even better. It's also got a really lovely back detail, these little buttons. It does mean that you need a little bit of help getting into the dress and then just skimming you on the hips and a really lovely, very delicate kind of fish tail skirt. Again, super affordable and also really classic. So a lovely one to have in your wardrobe for wedding events, for wedding guests, and any other lovely summer garden parties you might have coming up in your diary. Okay, so we are moving up slightly, slightly higher price point to Debenhams. They have an incredible selection of brands. They have got, they've got loads of different brands um, that you can shop from their own retailers' websites, but then also lots of Debenhams brands, if that makes sense. And I believe this dress, it's from a brand called Principles. I believe that is one of 
Debenhams brands. I may be wrong, but that is what I think is to be correct. So the dress actually is a fairly plain silhouette, but I have added the waist belt from my LK Bennett dress. You could literally just get a strip of white linen. I think that looks really cute, a really sweet way of just cinching it in around the waist. Today I felt like I wanted it to be a bit more feminine, but in the photos I styled it with a raffia belt and that looks equally as fabulous. Also to be a little bit different today, I've kept on the Dorothy Perkins studded sandals. They, I feel like, are so versatile, just the same as with the Valentinos. They're gonna be the kind of shoe that goes with everything. I feel that this could be a really lovely summer work dress if you're able to wear things like this to work. I know that next time I go for a day of meetings in London, this is definitely going to be the kind of dress that I'll be wearing. You can create a slightly more voluminous sleeve because you've got that little bit of elastication there and then the classic shirt style collar gives it those smarter vibes and then lengthwise, very demure. So it just takes all the boxes for a workwear dress, but then you can add a little hint of your personality with the belt. So today I'm feeling feminine, so I've added the little bow. No pockets, um, but really nice lightweight cotton material. There's plenty of fabric in the skirt, which just makes it dramatic. Um, and I really love this color. It's quite a bold green color, not like the muted sagey eucalyptus tones that I usually go with. It's a little bit brighter, but definitely one that will have people turning heads and saying, oh, what a lovely dress. <laughs> I'm definitely leaning towards these more colourful pieces at the moment as we head into summer. We're now officially in summer, hallelujah. I think at the beginning of this video I said we're approaching summer solstice. That has now passed. We're a little bit higgledy-piggledy time-wise, um, but I will explain all of that in the next vlog. <laughs> but anyway, let me show you full length. The bow just looks so sweet. A nice contrast to the green. And the sun has come out, how glorious, which probably, which hopefully means you can see me better, but I cannot see you, so hopefully I'm actually standing in the right place. This next one is another from Principles at Debenhams. It's another one that I shot on my Instagram. I will put the photos up on the screen here. I've got a little kind of crop top vest bralette type thing on today, very, very relaxed day, um, but I thought it looked quite nice with the neckline really open, but of course you can do it up. You could wear it all the way done up if you wanted it to be quite a prep style shirt dress but on a summer's day I think it's quite nice to not have anything too close to the skin be a little bit looser a little bit lighter similarly to the last one you've got more of a shirt style collar slightly more of a kind of oversized shirt style sleeve with a little turn up and it does actually come with its own belt in this material but as you will have seen from the pictures I think it's quite like one color so I've done the the same linen bow trick here it does need an iron. If I was heading out the house, I would definitely give this an iron. Um, but again, it just creates that little bit of a cinched in silhouette. You've got a really lovely shirt dress style silhouette. And I think that this lemony yellow is a color that suits every skin tone. I think it is so flattering um, and it just really kind of sorbet-ish, very fresh for a summer dress. So again, a great workwear dress, probably in my opinion, a bit too casual for a wedding guest dress. Although the one that I wore the last one, the green one, I think could work for a slightly more casual wedding, whereas this one I think is a bit more worky. Um, but yeah, another fabulous one. Devnums are smashing it. And footwear wise, I spotted, gosh, I'm being dazzled. It's one of those weird days where it's sunny, but it's actually raining. Um, I spotted these shoes on Devnums and a similar pair, which have got like a twist and also these in white, and I think black as well. So if you are in love with this style of shoe, I personally think they're incredibly versatile, then I'll leave these and the twisted ones linked down below. I think they're both under 50 pounds, which is amazing because the Bottega ones, which these are kind of similar to, literally have a zero on that price. I think the Bottega ones, oh my gosh, are over 500 pounds. Okay, so this outfit is giving me major Bindi Irwin vibes, and if you know who she is, and you also like the kind of content that I post here on my channel, then I'm pretty sure that we could be best friends. <laughs> I used to be so obsessed with Steve Irwin. I actually saw him, I'm gonna give away, give it away who she is now, um, but I actually saw Steve Irwin at the Australia Zoo, obviously, obviously before he was very tragically killed. Um, 
But yeah, I used to be so obsessed with the Crocodile Hunter. And I do follow Bindi on Instagram and this is the kind of thing that she wears. I think the Australia Zoo this is so dorky. I think the Australia Zoo uniform is like this kind of colour shirt. That is not why I purchased this, but um, that's just the vibes that I'm getting now that I've got it on. So this is one of the Amazon The Drop shirt dresses. I have it in white, which I love. I know that so many of you absolutely love it as well. It's such a classic and I thought it'd be really nice to see how it looks in this stony linen colour as well. I've paired it with my Loewe belt. You've got the little uh, pockets lengthwise just below the knee. Again, a really great workwear dress, relaxing around the house kind of dress, and starred up with the belts and the Valentino Rockstar Duke kind of shoes. I think it looks really lovely. So yes, if there's something that I love almost as much as floral dresses, it is shirt dresses. And this is just something a little bit different to my classic white ones to add to my wardrobe. I thought I would try it with my new Holland Cooper straw Fedora, Fedora or Fedora? Roger Federer Fedora hat, I think, um, for even more <laughs> kind of Crocodile Hunter vibes. <laughs> I do love a straw hat, and this one is just a classic going to the beach, convertible car, giving you hat hair, but also great hat for me. It doesn't look, I don't think it looks that good with this shirt dress. Great hat for me for gardening to keep the sun off my face and at the top of my back as well. Okay, we're briefly back to Debenhams and I'm not sure how I feel about this. I really like how comfortable it is. Very easy to throw on, although I am getting art teacher vibes. I think this reminds me of the art wraparound apron that we used to have to wear during lessons at school. I think maybe because of the little tie down at the side, but, but I know that so many people love wrap dresses. I think the colour of this is great, it would be a great dress for pottering around the garden, but I don't ever want to buy dresses just for the sake of wearing while gardening. It's always like a wonderful bonus, but not the reason why I buy something, and maybe this is just too much gardening vibes. <laughs> I will try adding some raffia. Ooh, oh, do you know I like it more with a hat. Could I wear a raffia belt with this? My hair is over curly because I only just did it, um, but hopefully that'll drop. Ooh, it's amazing how many things I love more once I add a belt. I feel like it just needed breaking up a little bit. What do we think? <laughs> I feel like this is such a nice, oh, I'm just pottering around, exploring the Cotswolds, don't want to get the sun on my face, that kind of vibe. Yeah, I think I've fallen in love with this outfit. <laughs> so here we are with a Josie Classic, a Brodery white dress, and this is from another of my absolute favourite retailers that does the most incredible incredibly priced pieces and it is nobody's child so we know that these fabrics are going to have been sourced sustainably they grow they really invest in their farmers who are growing organic cotton because it can be really hard for farmers to justify the cost of turning their farm into an organic farm so nobody's child really support them through that process they really put so much focus on sustainability and i love them for it and yet you're not ending up paying crazy high prices for their incredible materials and their designs are absolutely gorgeous so it's no surprise that I'm a huge huge fan of Nobody's Child. This dress is the most gorgeous broderie anglais fabric, fabric can't talk today, um, with this lovely floral kind of cutout detail and then the embroidery detail here, little puff sleeves with elasticated detail up there, smocked around the waist so super comfortable and a really lovely elegant length, an absolute winner in my opinion, very comfortable, a perfect dress for wearing every day, a perfect everyday summer dress. So I do, as I mentioned, have this funny kind of crop top thing on <laughs> underneath, however the back of this dress is a really lovely low like open section and actually I think it looks quite nice with this little crop top. This is from I think Gilly Hicks um, but if you could get away with being braless then even better. Such a nice open back especially if you've got your hair tied up, sunglasses on, perfect for a really warm summer's day. Okay 
Next, I have got on this gorgeous dress from Holland Cooper. It's a kind of knitted fabric. It is so comfortable. And I have to be honest, normally I steer away from dresses like this because I don't feel like I've got the perfect body. And sometimes I feel like dresses like this are very body focused. Um, but I started to care quite a lot less <laughs> about that kind of thing. And actually it's comfortable and I really like how this dress looks on me. It is a little bit figure hugging, but I have to say I'm wearing the least flattering underwear in the entire world. And yet the dress still looks great. Um, I have gone braless. You could probably go with a strappy bra or you know what, actually you could probably wear any bra because it's got, it has got these um, straps, which have got the iconic Holland Cooper little buttons on them. Nice little low v-neck and then it is quite flattering on the bottom and I definitely would <laughs> wear better underwear if I was going to wear this or when I wear this out the house. A really nice one for summer days, again it could be a really nice work dress, work to bar, that kind of vibe. I think I need to wear more figure hugging things, I tend to go for floaty fabrics but this has made me realise that I definitely need to, definitely need to branch out and wear things which are a little bit more it's okay to show the figure of your body. And I definitely never do that. <laughs> so maybe this dress is the nudge that I need to start. I'm gonna finish with two more dresses from Principles at Debenhams. I love a halter neck for a summer holiday dress and I was really drawn to the pattern on this one. I think it's a really fun, it's not too in your face and yet it still feels like a fun and colorful choice. It doesn't come with a belt, but I have added my favorite, my raffia belt. I think the ruffle around the collar is so pretty. It's got a, just a simple little um, button to do you up at the back there. I think the silhouette is really lovely. Again, for like a beach wedding or just, you know when you go out in the evenings on holiday and you wanna feel fabulous, but equally a dinner in a restaurant in London, I think equally perfect for those kinds of occasions. It is quite long, I am quite short, um, so I will have to take this up a couple of inches. I think this could also look really nice with the white bow belt, but for ease, and the fact that the bow belt really does need ironing, I thought I would try it on with this one. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. I need my hat again. The hat is really growing on me. This feels like a kind of beach festival look. Beach festival, that would be fun. And the final item that I'm going to share with you is yet another dress from the Principles from Debenhams. It's a really easy to wear sundress. I find things like this perfect for those heat wave days. Really easy to just kind of drop the shoulders, catch the sun on your chest, on your neck. Oh, speaking of which, um, and just a really nice simple silhouette. Really, really easy to throw on. Perfect for gardening. In fact, I might stay in this and garden in this outfit for the rest of the afternoon. I did also throw a couple of cardigans, three actually, one in the same cardigan in three different colours. I probably will only keep one, probably the white one, um, but sometimes you just want something over your shoulders, just something nice and cosy at the end of the day when the sun starts to go down and I thought these are a really nice relaxed kind of fit. I've got the white one downstairs so you'll have to imagine that, but this one is in this minty green colour, possibly not the best colour combination, but I wasn't too sure on what shade of green it would be from the website, so I thought I would try it. And then also in this baby pink, um, I have already worn the white ones, so I have a feeling I'll probably return these ones, um, but I thought I would show you these anyway. Really nice for just taking that end of a summer day chill off and perfect for wearing over the top of your favourite summer dress. Um, but I've shown you quite a few outfits now, so I feel like this vlog could probably be getting quite long. So, gosh, the lighting is changing like crazy. I think I'm going to end the vlog here, darlings, and um, probably start up with the next one, to be honest, because it is a lovely day today. I've got a few more things downstairs I want to unbox, but yeah, I think this one is getting too long. So I'm going to wrap up here. Before I go, another reminder, of course, I shared with you my skin and me routine in today's video. Have the most incredible discount code. Use Josie6 to get your first month for just £3.50. You will see how incredible the product is during that first month, and I guarantee you'll be hooked. Um, so I'll leave all the info for that down below. And darling, so that is all from me for today. I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye.